Meanwhile, do you want to know what happens to the aid? Today at noon, Trachomia <laughs> checkpoint. We did what we could to stop the hundreds of settlers from destroying food that was supposed to feed tens of thousands in Gaza. And for a moment, it seemed that we succeeded. But there were only two of us. Next, we will reach hundreds. <laughs> Like this person was trying to stop the fucking freaks in the back from destroying the food trucks, destroying the aid on the food trucks. But unfortunately, because there are only two people, okay, two very kind individuals, the other people back there are the vile scumbags that fucking are destroying the food, the aid on top of the fucking aid trucks, the food trucks that are already being blocked from going into Gaza anyway. How insane is this? Oh my god, these fucking douchebags in the background, dude. Jesus Christ, dude. Just like... She's saying the military isn't stopping them. Yeah. Oh, that's the other part of this, too. The military absolutely does not fucking uh, do anything to stop them. It's food. They're destroying food chatters. Why doesn't the media cover this? Bro, because this would make Israel look really fucking bad. What do you mean? That's why I say... Israeli human rights organizations and even Israeli outlets from time to time do a better job covering these fucking freaks than American media does. Another aid truck has been caught on fire. Update. Another aid truck has just been set on fire by Israeli settlers. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Meanwhile, on the other hand, on the offensive front, the idea is literally shooting UN convoys and shit that are trying to get to the goddamn doctors, the American doctors that are fucking dehydrated in a hospital. These American doctors that went there recently, mind you. But then Israel decided to siege Rafa anyway. There is no, there is no salvation. Like there is no. There is no way to like look at this and be like, this is actually permissible. This is actually perfectly valid. It just doesn't make sense. Here is the uh, here is the translated article from BM. I really hate you. Two brave Israeli women tried to prevent the state back settler mob from destroying aid sent to Gaza this morning. Unfortunately, they were helpless in front of the hundreds of bloodthirsty maniacs attached to their full account from today. A group of settlers from the Order 9 organization and their supporters received this information and came to block the crossing with their private vehicles. They climbed onto the trucks that were waiting to enter and dumped thousands of sacks of rice sugar and hot meals at the same time there were very few security forces and police on the scene who did nothing to stop the destruction but stood aside even when the social activist Neta Hamid Tabib and Sapir Slutsker Imran asked for their help and were threatened with knives one of the settlers even attacked uh, Slutsker Imran and slapped her with his fists but the policemen ran away uh, the policemen ran him away. They refused to detain him, and he returned to the destruction backed by the police. Although the whole event started already at 10 in the morning, the police did not call for additional forces and did not try to block the arrival of the criminals, including miners and armed settlers. At the first round, the settlers drove to the Shek checkpoint in an attempt to stop more trucks. During this time, we helped the truck drivers reload the equipment on the trucks before, return before returning back to their point of departure. After about an hour, a large group of nearly 150 people, including miners, arrived and then managed to dismantle and destroy all the goods that were still on the trucks with knives, sharp pieces of wood, and axes, damaged the equipment, and threatened the workers, the Palestinians. In that time, we did not see a single arrest, and all was done was the useless removal of a few who immediately returned to continue. Today, it was just the two of us. Next time, we must come in dozens and hundreds to stop these criminal acts of hate, which also caused the continuation of the violent war in Gaza, endangering the abductees and all of us. The settlers say they want to pressure Hamas into this, into this disgrace, but there is no justification for the destruction of basic food for innocence. This is an act of revenge and starvation. We came back bruised, but we will not stand back. Is there any way to make media like CNN report on shit like this, mass tagging them on social media? It's sad to say, but the only way that you can get the media to ever cover this shit properly is when it goes viral on TikTok. Like the, the Ohio, uh, Palestine, Ohio derailment. Because, I mean, and even then rarely do they ever actually cover it.
The only other way that the media ever covers it unconditionally is if a white person is in the crosshairs, which is why the 20 American doctors play a very important role in this situation. Okay? Or if a reporter is killed by these psychos? Fuck no. Shireen Abu Akhlek was murdered by an Israeli sniper. It didn't do shit. The American media literally did not care. It was an American Palestinian journalist, a very famous journalist. They do not care. The Associated Press building was blown up by Israel in that same time frame. The American media did not care. The only reason why the attitude has changed is because there is a dramatic amount of coverage now outside of mainstream media. So the media has to respond to it because they do still have to maintain the, the, um, at least like the aesthetics. They still have to maintain the aesthetics that they are like relatively impartial or that they, uh, they are doing their very best to, to offer coverage on all fronts. Because if they don't do that, every day that they don't do that, less people trust them. More and more people leave mainstream media. So that's why there's a little bit of a give and take. White House comments on the video. The White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that the Biden administration is examining what tools we have to respond to the blocking of eight trucks from Jordan passing through Israel on the way to Gaza by right-wing activists. Huh, it is shocking that there are people who attack and loot the trucks that come to Jordan, uh, come from Jordan to Gaza. We are taking the Israelis to the highest level, talking to the Israelis at the highest level. This is completely unacceptable behavior. A better statement in this circumstance were, would be to mention that this has been ongoing and that uh, America is going to threaten further removal of aid to Israel and will no longer offer weapons transfers, which they shouldn't have already. Like, instead of this bullshit, like, what tools we have, said that the Biden administration is examining what tools we have. Instead of doing this fucking classic, like, oh, well, we are beginning to investigate the investigations that might be coming down the line after Israel has done a self-examining uh, and, and a reflection on the actions collectively that we will all think about thoroughly. Like, that kind of bullshit, they have no leverage, on. Yes, they do. What are you talking about? We are America. I don't, I don't know what to say. They don't have a leg to stand on, man. They don't. Are people at NGOs gathering information, evidence on people who advocate for genocide, destroy humanitarian convoys so that one day justice will be done? I would like to help. I mean, there are people who are, you know, filming all this stuff, but there's just so much, dude. There is so much. And the reality is, as long as the American government continues this uh, this kind of attitude, this kind of block and push methodology for Israel's actions, it doesn't matter. You can fucking document everything, but there is no enforcement. Without the United States go ahead, there is no fucking enforcement on all of the documented evidence. 20 years from now, all those fuckers will be say they're against it. I mean, I don't even know. I think we'll just like look at it like the, indi I mean, worst case scenario, we look at it like the indigenous genocide, right? Another settler colonial genocidal state, the United States of America and its actions. Best case scenario, we look at it like the civil rights movement or the previous apartheid in South Africa.